challenge. Now they are absolute terrors at the forward positions. Zion and Ingram are ready to go as they make their final adjustments for the Heat. Pelicans, Heat, and we'll be right back for the tip-off. And you've got it on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. And our broadcast team tonight, Greg Anthony here to my left and Steve Smith to my right. And the Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, along the sideline. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension, the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5 we all get treated the same. And that's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. Hard work does pay off, David. Thank you so much. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You take a look at the Spurs. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. I think for New Orleans, they're moving in the wrong direction. The good news, though, it's still early in the season. A lot of games left to be played. Plenty of time to turn things around. Now the opening lineup for the New Orleans Pelicans. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. Ante Graham is out there with Hart, and it's Ingram and at the small four. And for Miami, Lowry and Hero are the guard set. Adebayo is the pivot with Tucker playing the four. And it's Butler in at the three. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Well, you know, everyone wants to see what you got. In reality, also, you want to see what you have against the best players in the world. So it'll take some time, though, to adapt to the speed of the game. But ultimately, it's about going out and competing. And so it's the Heat hitting on the board first. And Adebayo sends it back. Two points. That one goes. Here's Lowry. Outside Butler. Here's Hero. Outside Lowry. Out to the right wing. Just four to shoot. 14 feet away. And that's off the glass and in. Proven he has the touch from mid-range. Bam Adebayo showing you another dimension of his game. Graham, the pass to Ingram. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And here's Lowry playing Oklahoma City. He was nearly unstoppable. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Let's it go from 14. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Very comfortable operating in the mid-range area. That's a signature shot for Kyle Lowry. Now, here's Hart. He's covered by Hero. Adebayo against Valanciunas. Over Adebayo. No good from Valanciunas. Heat have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Wonderful play with that long wingspan and huge hands. Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Pass to Graham. Williamson with it. Back to Graham. Off target with his three. And stolen by Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. Flashing his vertical there. Williamson really makes dunking look so effortless. He's special. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for Miami. Even with all the hype Zion had coming into the NBA, Steve, I don't think folks expected him to have such an immediate impact. It really was a wild first few months for Zion in the NBA. We weren't sure he'd play at all in his rookie year. 
But when he made it onto the court, he reminded everyone right away, Kevin, what a unique talent he is. And it's Ingram missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Sinks the triple. A fantastic passer for a big. Bam, terrific at finding his open teammates. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. This, of course, their first chance to play Miami this season. A, a matchup that only happens twice a year. These interconference battles can be a lot of fun. The balance between East and West, after years of being dominated by the West, is starting to even out some. And this is a good time to bring you a rundown of the hottest three-point bombers from the shooting guard position over the course of the last 10 games. Tyler Hero, fourth. You, know, you don't have to be a great shooter to play two guard, but, but it does help. And pretty much all of these guys fit into that great category. And so consistent from the three-point range, too. That's what I love about them. Their long-range shooting is always going to be there. You know what they're going to give you from behind the arc. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. He kicks to Butler. Poked away. Leaps for it. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Butler's got five now. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Graham finds Williamson. Over in the corner, Hero. Now, here's Lowry. He isn't playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. Down to five on the shot clock. Butler goes in. From the line. That shot, no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, proficiency from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you could see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. The Pelicans shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. The first one falls. And Hart, the last pick of the first round in that 2017 draft. And not sure why so many teams passed on this talented young man. But boy, he is terrific. And Hart drops them both. Last game for the Heat, they picked up the win against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. Butler with the ball. Another key contributor in that nice win against Oklahoma City. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Butler's got seven points. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Hart with it. Butler covering. Ingram attacking. And slam dunk by Ingram. He's very long and slender frame, Brandon Ingram, but very effective at attacking the rim. Here's Lowry. Outside Butler from past the arc. That shot misses. New Orleans has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Hart, no good. The Heat with the lead. Hero passes to Autobahn. Back to Hero. Good ball movement here by Miami. Hands it from downtown. Butler's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Heat. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Graham. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That is his first foul of the game. 
And Miami making a change here. Deadman's checked in. Miami leading by five. Wow, Reed deciding where to go with it here. Outside Butler. Outside Lowry. And again, Miami with the triple. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Pelicans trail by eight. Up top, Graham. Now recovering. Shoots from the elbow. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Valanciunas has a look from the mid-range. He is very comfortable taking it. Outside, Butler. Lowry against Graham. He can't get it to go. Good D by Williamson. He takes it in. Hart, no good. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Ingram. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. And that's now nine points for Brandon Ingram. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. They lead by four. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. And bottom line, they found ways to score. Credit the game plan going in. It was right on the money. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. And here is Williamson following Kyle Lowry's three. Here's Ingram. And Hart has it in the corner. That one wide left. Miami leading by seven. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. And the Heat get another bucket right there. Adding to this lead. He's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And Tyler Hero's defense, maybe not his strength, but it's an area he's looking to improve. You know what I like about him, though? He wants to improve, and that's half the battle. Walking up would help him as he gets bullied a little bit on those drives. You like that he wants to be more than just a score, G.A. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Morris is checked in for Otto Bayer. Duncan Robinson comes in for Tyler Hero. And it's Oladipo in for Kyle Lauer. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Hayes comes in for Williamson. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Josh Hart. And Sadoransky is subbed in for Devontae Green. And let's check out stats for Ingram. He showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. Averaging about 19 points, five assists, and three rebounds. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Because he gives you someone to build your offense around. You can count on his nightly production. Here's Sadoransky. Brandon Ingram picking up that last bucket. Trying to get open is Butler. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And one thing that's obvious from interviews and social media is that Brandon Ingram has a terrific work ethic. Yeah, this is a guy who really knows the value of hard work. It seems like he's always putting in hours at the gym or working on finding new ways to evolve his game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Ingram. And this may not be the juiciest stat you'll ever get, but the development of Brandon Ingram as a free throw shooter early in his career was shocking. Both free throws, good for Ingram. Greg, as we take a look at Ingram's free throw shooting, he went from a mediocre performer at the line to almost automatic after a few years in the NBA. 
And Kevin, it's a testament to the work he's put in. It was an area of his game he had to develop, and he didn't ignore it. And now his aggression on the court pays off with points at the line. Ingram against Buck Morris outside. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And the Heat lead by eight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Alexander Walker. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And good that time. Both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Outside Butler, a three ball. Armin Gomez grabs the miss. Pelicans trail by six. Butler with the steal. Fires top of the key. Good on the jump shot. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Heat. Their aggressiveness on D has been the most glaring aspect of this game so far. They have the heat turned all the way up in this first half. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. Offensive rebound. Robinson finds Oladipo. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. New Orleans gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Sadoransky the pass to Hayes. Back to Sadoransky. A pass to Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. Ring shot on the way. And off the glass. That one's good. Alexander Walker's got his second basket of the night. That turnaround shot is clearly one of his favorites. He loves going to it anytime he gets an opportunity. Oladipo dishes to Robinson. Butler up top. Miami needs to get a shot off. Another miss by Oladipo. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Going inside. Oladipo with the block. I mean, you're not going to beat Oladipo with that. I mean, Victor plays hard on both sides of the ball. The Heat making a switch here. Struce has checked in. And the Pelicans with possession here. They trail by six. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That is his first foul of the game. And uh, Miami shooting it from their comfort zone so far in this one. 57% from the field. Here's Oladipo. It's blocked. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. Pelicans trail by six. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. Charity stripe shot. Here's Hernan Gomez. Hayes finds Ingram. Buries the long-range jumper. Ingram's got 16 points. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Now, Oladipo, he gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Robinson. Shot clock at six. 
Pulls up. They grab their own miss. And that one, good. And the Heat lead by five. Staying aggressive on the offensive boards. Deadman's a tough guy to box out there. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Jimmy Butler has been on display for the Miami Heat. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll get right back to the action when we return. You know, Greg, when you think about Jimmy Butler, it sure seems like he was born to wear a Miami Heat jersey, as he says. I'm so fortunate to be able to, to work with and for an organization like this one. And then, man, I got some incredible teammates, like for real, for real. Some really good ones that love coming into work every day and busting their tail, knowing that good things are going to come from it. And Butler Greg in his previous stop sometimes at odds with teammates or whoever else, but that was not the case in Miami. Well, he played with Dwayne Wade in Chicago, and Wade, a Heat legend, played matchmaker, telling both sides this is where Jimmy needs to be. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stance-wise? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Reason why, excellent spacing. They may not stay this hot all game, but hard to bet against them. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Heat, they've got Robinson. Morris is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then there's Oladipo, and it's Struce in at the shooting guard. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. After their trip to the NBA Finals in 2020, the Miami Heat is looking to get back to that championship round. Jimmy Butler says, we know what we're capable of. We want to get back to the Finals. We can get back to it. I like our chances against anybody, honestly. Nobody intimidates us. Kevin? A great attitude. They've shown they can compete at the highest level, David. Thank you. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. The shot's good from Hayes. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Pelicans. They're doing a great job defensively down low. They've already racked up a lot of blocks. They've established an intimidation factor early in this one. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. Throws it up high. An emphatic alley-oop jam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. The Heat trail by three. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Truth. No points in the game yet for him. A wide open look here for Oladipo. Again, the miss by the Heat. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. He hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Hayes has got the lead up to five now for New Orleans. Greg, you're a former player and now the father of a young NBA star. What's it like to see the next generation of NBA talent move into the league? Oh, it's an incredible feeling because we all feel like we're a part of this NBA family. And to see the stars we have today, the character they have, the way they approach the game, man, this is the best time ever to be an NBA fan. And the three ball is good. Well, opponents worry about Oladipo's quickness attacking the basket, which really helps him create good looks from the perimeter. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Greg, you were just talking about Oladipo. He holds a very high standard for himself. He's trying to reach another level every year. Wants to keep growing, making everything more consistent. And it's possible we still haven't seen the best of him yet. And some changes here for the Heat. Adebayo is checked in for Markeith Morris. Tyler Hero comes in for Duncan Robinson. And it's Lowry in for Oladipo. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. 
Valanciunas, who's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Zion Williamson comes in for Jackson Hayes. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Sederans. They get it back. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. A tireless worker. You don't have to call plays for Adebayo for him to score. Passes it to Williamson. Stolen by Tucker. And here they come. Here's Hero. And the Heat get another bucket right there. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. To the inside, Williamson. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. Graham's got his third assist on the night. Pass to Autobio. Lowry has the open look. And the Heat, another three. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And the pass to Hart beyond the arc. And that one is off. And Miami the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And it's Drews missing. Pelicans trail by three. Here's Temple. His last outing had eight points. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. They are just killing him on the interior. Lowry passes to Autobio. The tray. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Inside. Here's Valanciunas. And he overshot that one, missing. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That'll be his second foul of the game. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for the Heat. And so Adebayo will bring it up for the Miami Heat. Pass to Hero. That's tipped and stolen by Williamson. And now the Pelicans on the break. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Graham's got his first bucket of the night. Passes it to Hero. And here is Butler. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Now, here's Hart. Defense right on him. To the middle. Here's Valanciunas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Bam Adebayo. Great use of the pump fake. Smart move by Valanciunas to get himself to the line. The Pelicans have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Well, a lot of teams are going smaller these days, but big man Jonas Valanciunas still earning steady minutes year after year. Efficient scoring and a presence on the glass. He's able to punish teams inside if they want to play small ball. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The fifth overall pick in the draft back in 2011. Valanciunas has added wrinkles to his game every year since. Now here's Adebayo. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. He was a shot-blocking nightmare out there. Four blocks on the game and some altar shots as well. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. The Heat trail by five. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Lowry kicks to Butler. Will it go? Fails to score here. He has made 5-12 with this point. Here's Temple. Now recovering. 
Graham, the pass to Hart. And here is Graham. His last outing, he had eight points. Now, Hero, pass to Autobio. Hero with it. He's coming off a 16-point game against Oklahoma City. Shot clock at five. And it's Butler missing. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Temple. He's covered by Hero. And Temple kicks to Green. Down low. Here's Valanciunas. He can't hit that top. And it's Miami the other way. And here's the fast break. Adebayo leading the way. Shots good by Hero. A focused individual. Hero's not going to let a little contact affect his shot. Now Graham. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Here is Lowry. The pass to Autobio. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Yunus Valanciunas. And Bam Adebayo picked 14th in the 2017 draft. Has made huge improvements throughout his career. The guy is a hard worker. And he makes the first. And Coach Spolster says that Adebayo continues to put in the work to improve. And, and Kevin, you see it in his game every year. Never takes a summer off. Comes back each fall with a new wrinkle to his repertoire. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for P.J. Tucker. And a change for the Pelicans. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for Garrett Temple. And Adebayo drops them both. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now, here's Valanciunas. A 14-point game for him in the win against the Wizards in Washington. And here is Ingram. He gets that one. Ingram's got the lead up to six now for New Orleans. The production from Ingram just keeps getting better and better. A guy who knows how to get buckets. Now refine zero. Now Butler. Here's the teardrop. And he sinks the layup. Butler's got 14 points for the game. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Pass to Hart. Williamson right side. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. For New Orleans, they have been perfect so far from the free throw line. Six for six. One shot. Free throw good. Hart. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Now, here's Lowry. He's got 11. Adebayo with the ball. Outside, Butler. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really, hard to find more intense players than Jimmy Butler. This guy is 100% focused on winning at all times. One of the ultimate competitors in our league. First free throw is good. 
And with Butler and his intensity, Greg, it's a perfect fit for him in Miami. And yeah, it can rub some players the wrong way, but it goes hand in hand with the culture here. Hard to imagine Butler on a team other than Miami. Jackson A's, he's checked in for New Orleans. And so Butler nails both of them. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. Hart the pass to Ingram. To the paint. Here's Hayes. Detman with the block. The 7-4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. Hart, no good. It's amazing. All night, he's been out of sync on the offensive end. Yet, they continue to lead. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for New Orleans. Up top, Oladipo. He's got five. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Valanciunas, he's got that long wingspan. You saw it right there on that play. Sadoransky's checked in for the Pelicans. Lowry against Sadoransky. Fires for three. The rebound by Brandon Ingram. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. To the inside, Valanciunas. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Valanciunas has got 10 points in the game. Great ball movement by B.I. Spots a wide open teammate and feeds him. And it's Lowry with the ball. Brings it up for the Heat. Seven point differential. Passes it to Autobayer. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got six. Ingram outside. Trying to find Valanciunas. Gets it to him. Over Oladipo. Valanciunas, good. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. We've got 118 left to play in the first half. Sadoransky against Lowry. Kicks to Oladipo. Let's it go with a three. Drills the three-pointer. Oladipo's got six in the quarter. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. Pass to Sadoransky. Nice move. Over to the wing. Shoots. It's hauled in by the Heat. Deadman's got six rebounds here tonight. The Heat shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. First one falls for him. A different look for Miami. Morris is checked in for Bam Adebayo. Robinson is subbed in for Jimmy Butler. And a change for the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And so he hits both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Hayes the pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Hernan Gomez. To the middle. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Miami no good on that time either. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. That's their third straight make off an assist. Twenty seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Oladipo. Tries again. And the shot is good. The Pelican lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Dedman. 
The toughness of Deadman showing up again, making the extra effort play finishes through contact. It'll count. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Pelicans on top. They lead by four. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Jonas. Good first half for you getting the ball inside, and you look really aggressive out there. I'm just doing my job, what I need to do, you know, be active in the pain, rebound, get some touches, go for work. Always good to see a big man who plays big. Thanks, Jonas. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. What a start it was for Brandon Ingram. He had 18 points, four rebounds, and three assists. Kenny, your thoughts? How the Pelicans are playing? They run this offense seamlessly. Each guy seems to understand his role. They're making smart decisions with the basketball, and I can give a shout-out to the playmakers. This success is because of you, brother. Shaq, let's get your insight on Miami. Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunities. Two rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. Pelicans leading by four. So for New Orleans right now, the talented front court pair is Ingram and Williamson. Hart is out there with Devontae Green. And it's Valanciunas in at the five, roaming the paint. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And uh, Miami shooting 43% from the floor. Inside, Deadman. Another shot. It's tipped. And so the ball's out of bounds. Graham touched it last. And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. The Heat making a switch here. Tucker's checked in. Butler against Ingram. And the shot is good. 18 points for Jimmy Butler. He's been aggressive all night. Butler's gotten himself into a rhythm, and the defense has no answer. Adebayo against Valanciunas. There's the dish to Ingram. Lock at six. Bring him in the corner. No good from outside. The Heat trail by four. Down low. Lowry kicks it to Tucker. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his third assist on the night. Bring him against Lowry. There's the pass to Valanciunas. Back to Graham. Pass to Hart. Williamson trying to free himself up. And out of bio, sends it back. 
The reach of Bam Adebayo is off the charts. Using it well with that block. And the basket by Lowry. Lowry's got 13 points. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Hart kicks to Ingram. Williams in right side. Pass to Valanciunas. Three-pointer. Graham. It's hauled in by the Heat. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. Hero finds Adebayo. Over Hart. And it comes off the front of the rim. New Orleans has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Now here's Ingram. Guarded by Tucker. And it's Ingram missing. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Miami Heat. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. For the lead, Pelicans with the rebound. Alan Junis has got six rebounds in the game. Such a great all-around player, Kyle Lowry. You know, G.A., a star who's also a glue guy. He takes the temperature of the team and gives it whatever it needs, whenever it's needed. Here is Lowry after the made shot from Jonas Valanciunas. Shoots from the high post. Butler, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Nice to see Williams spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. Now Lowry, he's got 13. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. From 18 feet away, and good. Got the English that time as it falls. 20 points for Butler. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Now here's Ingram. 18 points for him. And it's Williamson missing. To the inside. And slam dunk by Butler. Some shooters get tunnel vision. But Tyler keeping his eyes up and his options open delivers a great pass. Lowry against Graham. Ingram outside for three. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Outside Butler. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Now here's Ingram. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And the coach's challenge has been triggered here. Coach wants a review of the out of bounds violation. And you know these types of plays, especially when you're talking about action around the sideline. This is something you can get a much better perspective of on replay than real game speed. We've got the benefit of new camera angles, Greg. Much easier to see exactly what's going on, especially with the fidelity and angles that we've got access to now. So we just got word from the NBA Replay Center via the official courtside administrator. And the original call will stand for the out-of-bounds violation. You know, and some people might argue, hey, we're stopping the game, but this uses up a timeout. So that's technically already a break that could happen regardless of the call staying the same. You look at Jimmy Butler. He's really been playing well. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. And Miami making a change here. Struce has checked in. Garrett Temple has checked in for New Orleans. Possessing a strong basketball IQ, Bam Adebayo understands when he should look to score. To the middle, here's Williamson. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. When you look at Zion Williamson's impressive scoring output, what also strikes you, Greg, is his field goal percentage. Yeah, I mean, this guy hits at just around 60%. You can say Zion isn't wasting many looks. He just attacks inside where a few men can slow him down. The first one at the line is good. What you respect about Zion, he's not trying to flex on everyone. He sees the big picture on the court and in the public eye. And both free throws, good for Williamson. A heat leading by three. And here's Lowry. 13 points in the game. Tucker finds out of Iowa. Ferocious finish. Bam's natural strength is next level. New Orleans has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Struce. Lays it up off the glass. Now it's a seven-point heat lead. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Heat. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Morris is checked in for Miami. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 19-6 run. Bring him against Lowry. Pass to Morris. Tries from 10. And the rejection by Valanciunas. And that'll be Miami as it goes out of bounds. The Heat retain possession. And some changes here for the Heat. Wayne Dedman comes in for Morris. And it's Oladipo in for Kyle Lowry. at four here's hero and the shot is long pelicans trail by seven and there's the drive temple gets the bucket i tell you he has some impressive moves in his repertoire that's as good as it gets but just one of many miami's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break and oladipo kicks to hero to Oladipo. To the paint. Here's Adebayo. Nails the 16-footer. Adebayo's got 16. And we've seen a leak from Adebayo recently. Scoring now at a steady clip. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pelicans will retain possession. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you try to get into your opponent's head. Force them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Duncan Robinson, he's checked in for Miami. Hurt. The putback, it's good on the putback. Ooh, physicality from Valanchunas on the glass. Securing the ball and sending it right back. Oladipo outside. From 13... And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got six rebounds here tonight. Dishes it to Graham. Here's Hart. His three pointers off the mark. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. See, that's a solid effort on the defensive glass. You need guys who are willing to work, willing to get their hands dirty inside. Now here's Graham. 
And it's Williamson missing. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's Oladipo. He's got eight. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Zion Williamson. And there's that scorer's mentality that Oladipo possesses, which really puts the defense in a bind trying to stop him. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. The combination of shooting and speed Oladipo provides this team is invaluable. And his hunger to keep getting better, also impressive. The Heat making a switch here. Butler's checked in. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Jackson Hayes comes in for Williamson. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Garrett Temple. And Sedaransky subbed in for Hart. Graham surveying the floor. Here's Sadoransky. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got six rebounds in the game. Got a piece of it. The kick outside to Butler. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Butler's got the lead up to nine now for Miami. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Here's Alexander Walker. Six points for him. To the inside. Here's Hayes. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Hayes has got ten points. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. To the middle. And it's Butler missing. Pelicans trail by seven. Here's Alexander Walker. Sadoransky. And it's off from three-point range. Bring him against Oladipo. I love it whenever Oladipo gets tricky with it. Putting on a show for everyone with that one. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Here's Alexander Walker. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Bring him against Oladipo. And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. And now Oladipo pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Defense of Butler is absolutely tremendous. Active hands came away with a steal on that play. Graham, the pass to Alexander Walker. There's a minute 34 and left to play here in the third. Here's Autobahn, and they call the foul, so he's got the and-one chance here to make it a three-point play. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high-percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. And the defense of Autobahn, top-notch, Steve, all NBA level. And Kevin, and he's still improving. Bam Autobahn, as you know, has great timing and reach. He can act as a rim protector, but he can still switch out and hang with the guards. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for Devontae Green. Oh, I just love Adebayo's passion for the game and his desire to reinvent his position. And Sadoransky kicks to Hernan Gomez. For three, Ingram. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Heat take it the other way. 
Robinson down low. He's covered by Ingram. Pelicans trail by 14. To the left side wing. From deep, Hernan Gomez. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adebayo. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Hernan Gomez passes to Hayes. Knocked loose. The Heat have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And out of Bayou. Drops them both. Here's Sadoransky. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. 40 seconds left in the third. Great key that time from out of Bayou. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. The Heat have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Oladipo hits them both. 36 seconds left in the third quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Sadoransky, the pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Sadoransky. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. A heat leading by 18. Pass to Butler. And Adebayo throws it down. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. Yeah, easy call. For New Orleans, they have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. First free throw is good. Brandon Ingram is a fascinating player. Multi-dimensional and versatile. Needs to keep improving. Oh, free throw is good for Ingram. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Heat lead by 18. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Whatever the offense requires, that has to be your mindset. Always thinking team first. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Butler and Tucker up in the forward spots. Oladipo is out there with Duncan Robinson. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Butler attacking. And it's Butler with the jam. Give him a lane to the hoop. And you know what you risk? Jimmy Butler throwing it down. Ingram outside. It's stolen by Adebayo. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Oladipo's running, and the dunk by Robinson. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. It's hard to see anything but a ton of potential when you look at a player like Jackson Hayes. Well, Kevin, just consider everything he's done already. Pulling down double-doubles, shooting at a high percentage, he makes the most of every touch he gets, and he's only getting better. And he makes the first. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Oladipo. Both shots good from the strike. You know, Steve, we've seen a few times in recent years in Cleveland and Indiana, for example, a new coach gets fired in year one. Yes, Kevin, losing a locker room can do that to you. It's embarrassing for those teams. When you know it's not working, you better not delay the inevitable. Now, here's Sadoransky. Jimmy Butler unable to get his last shot to go. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Just five to shoot. Fires from the line. They get it back. Hayes the pass to Hernan Gomez. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Bounce pass from Lowry. The shot by Autobio. No good. Pelicans trail by 18. Sadoransky with it. Lowry picks him up. Passes to Hernan Gomez. Stolen by Tucker. And there is a whistle, and that's going to go on Jackson Hayes. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And Miami making a change here. Heroes checked in. The Heat leading by 18. Lowry against Sadoransky. Outside Butler. Back to Hero. Six to shoot. Fires high post. Miami no good on that time either. And so Sadoransky will bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And it's Ingram missing. The Heat have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Tucker the pass to Lowry. Now Hero. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. And the Heat lead by 21. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Here's Alexander Walker. Shoots over Hero. And the Pelicans miss again. The shot. Here's Autobio. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. 
Adebayo's got 25 points in the game. Ingram against Butler. And stolen by Butler. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. New Orleans making some changes here. Valanciunas, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Josh Hart in for Sadoransky. Now, here's Butler. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And it's Miami with another. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most. And he is delivering. Ingram passes to Alexander Walker. New Orleans moving it around. It's stolen by Adebayo. Here's Tucker. He's off on that one. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. And the Heat going with the whole new group on the floor. A big group substitution here for New Orleans. Murphy's checked in. Marshall comes in for Ingram. Garrett Temple has checked in for Josh Hart. And Lewis subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. And here's Marshall from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. He'd have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Martin kicks to Morris. Martin, the pass to Vincent. There's the drive. The feed to Morris. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Pushing it up. Here's Marshall. It's rebounded by Akala. The Heat shooting 55% in the fourth. They are executing late. Here's Struess. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Here's Temple. That one goes. Count it. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Vincent. Well, Greg, for those of us who have never played in the league, what's it like traveling all over the country over the course of a long regular season? Come on, Kevin. I bet you had a nice J back in the day. But seriously, it's a whirlwind tour, man. Sometimes you don't even know what city you wake up in. And I can tell you there have been many times where I've gone back to the front desk complaining because my key didn't work and only to find out I was using the wrong key. And so here is Miami. Jonas Valanciunas unable to get his shot to go. And it's Struess missing. For New Orleans, they've gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Outside, Mark bangs home the trifecta. And so it's New Orleans with it. Here's Temple. Down low, Valanciunas. And it's good. That bucket takes him to 9 for 14. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. The Heat leading by 23. Pass to Morris. He dishes it to Martin. Now the pass to Vincent. For the three. Rebound by Marshall. The Pelicans have gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Yep, that one goes. Temple's got four this quarter. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Miami's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Vincent, the pass to Martin. Here's Struess. There's the three. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. 
Temple dishes to Murphy. Back to Temple. Valanciunas inside. He's against Morris. Valanciunas, good. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. Timeout called the Heat. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. Bam Adebayo. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. He's played up to his full potential tonight. And he's been playing to the crowd, too. He loves being the star attraction, even if it doesn't happen on a regular basis. Now, Hero, shot clock at six. The shot by Autobio, no good. Driving in, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And Greg with Devontae Graham, you know he's going to shoot it. He has no hesitation letting it fly. I mean, he's a solid three-point shooter who believes he can make any shot. About two-thirds of his shots all come from outside, so you know exactly what you're getting with him. First free throw is good. And Graham drops them both. And Zolawi will bring it up for Miami. They lead by 17. Fires the three. Pelicans with the rebound. Alan Junis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Here's Williamson. And the dunk by Williamson. We talk about Zion's strength, but the body control is also elite, especially for a guy his size. Miami leading by 15. Pass to Autobio. Over Valanciunas. And the rejection by Valanciunas. In the corner, it's Ingram. The three-pointer, no good. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. This is what the coach wants. Get Jimmy Butler the ball going downhill. Pelicans trail by 17. Graham kicks to Valanciunas. Here's Ingram with the drive. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Now here is Lowry. Loads it up for Adebayo. The veteran point guard Kyle Lowry is terrific at setting the table for uncovered teammates. Here's New Orleans. They're on a 17-7 run. Butler against Ingram. Passes it to Graham. Six on the shot clock. And it's New Orleans scoring again. Working in that mid-range area. The analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Get there, get there. Lowry passes to Hero. Drives to the hoop. Good D by Williamson. Pelicans trail by 15. And finished off by Graham. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee. 
Butler with the ball. A minute 50 left in the game. Nice team from Valanciunas. New Orleans now. Time running out. Now Hart inside. And the dunk by Williamson. Sky high. One of his advantages as a undersized four. There's 138 left in the fourth. Pass to Hero. Butler from outside. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And here is Graham. The pass to Hart. He kicks it to Ingram. Back to Hart. New Orleans moving the ball around. New Orleans needs to get off a shot. The lead now in single digits. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. 104 left in the fourth quarter. Here is Lowry. Pass to Tucker. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. New Orleans has gone 2 or 3 in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. 44 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Williamson kicks to Ingram. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Becoming consistent from beyond the arc. It's completely changed how you have to defend Ingram. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Passes it to Hero. Stolen. Driving inside. It drops. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And that's just an taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. A little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the final quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. and passion that Butler plays with is admirable. A natural leader on and off the floor. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Adding a little cushion to their advantage. Nice work at the line. Graham, the pass to Williamson. The three. Count it! And now they trail by just four. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Shooting two. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. He's an offensive-minded guard with limitless scoring potential. I think Tyler Hero will be a household name soon enough. Second one is good. And both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. There's the knockout blow. No chance of getting up off the canvas now. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. They're down by six. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Not only do they need a bucket, they need a three just to give them any chance at all. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul.
Shooting two. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. You know, the universal theme to Lowry's game is toughness. Mentally and physically, he tries to wear you down. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. They're behind by eight. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Licking their wounds. It hasn't come together for them tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Temple can't get it to go. And so it's Miami winning this one. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, I mean it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Jimmy. That was a hard-nosed win for you tonight. What was the difference? Uh, the energy in here from our fans, uh, from us, and then we just guard it. I think whenever we guard, we're really hard to beat. We got guys that can score the baskets, but we got to continue to guard. Yeah, you shut off their water down the stretch, man. Congrats on the win. Thanks very much. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.